Thank you, Speaker, sir. It's nice to be speaking uh, for the first time in the new house in your presence. I stand in support of the Women's Reservation Bill. Yesterday, I was listening to the discussion and the issue of the Sengol came up. And there was a conversation, a to and fro, about the Sengol. And also a little bit about the conversation about the transfer of power from the British to the people of India. Before handing over power to the people of India, the British asked the leadership of the freedom movement, who are we going to transfer power to? And of course, there was a little bit of arrogance in this statement because they viewed India as a poor country. And the revolutionary answer that our freedom fighters gave was we are going to transfer power to the people of India. So we, so we became a country that from its inception gave the vote to all our women. And this was a revolutionary thing at the time. We also gave the vote to every single community. And the vote was a mechanism of transfer of power. It was designed to further transfer power to the people of India. And if you look at the journey from independence, it's been that journey. It's been a constant transfer of power, more and more and more power to the people of India, on one side. And on the other side, the counter idea, that take away power from the people of India. This is the, this is the fight that is going on. And in fact, in many ways, it is the fight that is taking place today. Huge step forward in the transfer of power to the women of India was Panchayati Raj, where they were given reservation and they were allowed to enter the political system at scale. And this is another step. It's a big step, it is not a small step. And I'm sure everybody in this room, the treasury benches, the opposition, everybody, agrees that this is a very important step for the women of our country. They have, they fought for independence. They are as capable as any man in many ways more capable and should be given as much space as they possibly can be given. There is one thing in my view that makes this bill incomplete. I would like to have seen OBC reservation included in this bill. I think it is very important that a large chunk of India's population, large chunk of India's women should have access to this reservation. And that is missing in this bill. There are also two things